your line of focus. Well, both of them admitting that he then became focused on Vanessa after that collision and warm up. There are the Canadians, Kirsten Moore Towers, Michael Marinaro sitting in fifth after the short program. They're within striking distance, and I think the trick for them is going to be to try not to think too much about that dangling carrot in front of their face. It's being that close, it's so hard not to calculate and to do the math and to overthink overthink about the yeah. potential scenarios that will get you what you're trying to get. And they really have to stay focused on their moment and each individual moment within their within their program so that they can execute everything as best as possible. Kirsten Moore Towers, Michael Marinaro of Canada sitting in fifth after the short. They were sixth last year at Worlds, which was huge because finishing in that top ten, they were able to get two spots for the Worlds this year for Canada in pairs. No doubt they'd like to improve on that, the 2019 national champions. Now his small mistake on the jump in the short program cost them the last group start for the free program, so hopefully they're able to pull their jumps together today. Start with a twist. Right on that musical highlight, like that. there on that jump combination not able to complete the third jump so they will only get credit for the first two and lose some execution points by bouncing back with a beautiful throw triple loop Nice changes. I really like this music. And you're a Pink Floyd fan. I'm not going to say I'm not. <laughs> here. Oh, double from Michael. Looks like his Topic slipped on the takeoff. Probably rushed his takeoff. As soon that as you make so a mistake, quickly. sorry, but as soon as you make a mistake, it's so hard, even if it was yesterday, to get it out of your mind and just allow your training to come take over and get a little bit on autopilot and get it done under the TV lights. One of the hardest things about this sport. bit of a fight through that carry. He does a good job of finishing it. What I really like about this team, and Mike in particular, is he's really stepped up and matured his skating and his presence on the ice. I really find that they've come together over the last couple of years, but especially this year. Like I said yesterday, they look like Canadian champions. They're owning that title. Inside the circle on that throw, it looked like their takeoff hooked around and she wasn't able to stay on a rotating axis.
And there are the Canadians, Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinaro. Second skaters get out of character right away. You know exactly how they felt about their performance. Yeah, that post music mm -hmm. face yeah. <laughs> tells the whole story. Character down. <laughs> yeah, curtain down, and this is exactly how yeah. we felt. They've been feeling that for a while, too. That's the funniest part. It's, it's so hard to keep your enthusiasm going when you're struggling through a program. The Canadians, Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinaro. Bit of a shaky performance by them sitting in fifth after the short. Yeah, that'll be a tough pill to swallow. They were within range of the podium. And, you know, sometimes that's a blessing and sometimes that's a really hard place to be because you want it so badly. And, you know, the, the sport's tricky. Ice is slippery. Things can happen at the last second that you don't expect no matter how good you feel and how ready you are. Yeah, if you're looking at the podium, they were really, after the short, you know, two points back of that. Third, getting a bronze here at the Worlds. Well, you know what? <laughs> you train almost your whole life to learn this move. Back inside edge, get your balance, throw your things through, your arms, your legs, you rotate, you land, and that becomes instinctive. It's so fast, how can you actually think? You can barely have time to recover. Now, when that instinct goes away and you're at the World Championships, what do you do? You, you don't know what to trust. So you're on that back inside edge and your mind starts thinking thoughts it never does before. It really comes down to almost faith. Well, the last four medals won by Canada at the Worlds were all won by Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford, bronze in 2013 and 14. And then, of course, back-to-back -back world titles in 2015 and 16. A big score here is needed, 142.12 for the Canadians if they want to take the lead, and 126.94. So that will put them right now overall in second. But they need to look back on a great Grand Prix season that they have the best they've had so far as a pair and, of course, national champions. Now, here's Brenda with the current leaders, the French pair. 